This material is for information purpose only. However no update service will be furnished to maintain current revision. It cannot be relied upon to perform any maintenance task on the aircraft or to meet safety or regulatory requirements. Please do use the current revision and effectivity of aircraft maintenance manual prior to carrying out any maintenance task respectively. Why water checks are absolutely necessary prior to refueling. And why is microbiological contamination is a problem for airlines. There have been different cases of aircraft accidents, due to the water contamination in the aviation fuel. Since large transport airplanes fly at very high altitudes, where ambient temperature can reach minus 6 degrees Celsius, water may freeze. Causing blockages in the fuel lines, filters, booster pumps, and lead to engine thrust reduction engine shutdown. Microbiological contamination of the fuel can cause fuel tank structure corrosion, and in turn, leads to fuel leak. Fuel leak on hot engine surfaces or hot brakes can result into fire or explosion. In addition, the biological microorganisms in aviation fuel, can cause other technical problems such as fuel quantity gauge malfunctions, and fuel filter clogging. Therefore, it is important to eliminate or reduce the presence of the water and microbial growth in the fuel. The aim of this presentation is to increase flight safety awareness by minimizing the effect of water and biological contamination in the jet fuel by one of the step which can minimize water formation is by checking for presence of water prior to refueling. Water in fuel continues to contribute to aircraft incidents and accidents and at times fatal accidents. Aviation fuel can only serve its ultimate purpose if it is delivered to the aircraft engines free from water. Care and attention are necessary to keep fuel dry, free of water, during transportation from the refinery storage at airports dispensing from refueling equipment into the aircraft while in the tanks of an aircraft and from the aircraft tanks to its engine. Accordingly, if all persons involved in fuel handling will accept their responsibility to keep fuel dry, water in fuel incidents and accidents can be prevented. Water can enter an airport fuel system through leaks in underground tanks, leaks in the seals of such items as dome covers, floating roofs, and hatches during rain or snow storms, when equipment is being washed by. Marine or surface transport equipment delivering fuel to the airport, and by condensation and precipitation of dissolved water in fuel. Water can enter an aircraft fuel system through leaks in the vent seals or poorly fitting fuel caps on filler openings during rain or snow storms or when the aircraft is washed. From refueling system equipment, by condensation and precipitation, especially when an aircraft has partially filled tanks and when refueling during rain or snow storms. Water occurs in aviation fuels in two forms dissolved and free. Dissolved water. All aviation fuels dissolve water in varying amounts depending upon the fuel composition and temperature. Dissolved water in fuel is similar to humidity in air. Lowering fuel temperatures will cause dissolved water to come out of solution as free water somewhat like fog comes out of air. The creation of free water occurs at a rate of about one part per million per degree Fahrenheit. Contamination in the aircraft fuel tanks can be seen as brown slimy or white particles. A dark staining of the tank structure surface, when the tanks are dry. A smooth oily gel material, when the tanks are wet. A mat of microbial particles you can see on the surface of the tank. Sludge or slime with a strong sulfide smell. Surface damage to sealants. If you operate the water drain valves more frequently than the MPD interval, 
you can prevent decreased precision of the fuel quantity indicators, the risk of corrosion from microbiological contamination. The aircraft can use less fuel. Before working on the aircraft many safety precautions have to be observed. Do not get aircraft fuel in your mouth in your eyes on your skin for a long time. Be careful not to get your clothes soaked with fuel. Aircraft fuel is poisonous and can go through your skin into your body. If you are contaminated wash with clean water and if necessary get medical help. Make sure that you have the correct fire fighting equipment available. Make sure the area around the aircraft is safe before you start. Always use the correct tool to open the water drain valve. This can prevent damage to the seals. You can operate the water drains more frequently if you find a high water content when you do this procedure. The water drains will operate better when the fuel temperature is more than 5 degrees C. If possible, do the water drain procedure before you refuel the aircraft. If you refuel before you do this procedure, the water and the fuel will mix. Because of this, you must wait one hour after the aircraft has been refueled for the separation of the water and the fuel into two layers. Only operate the water drains after this specified period. In here it shows that the water detector capsule changes color if there is a water presence. If there is no water in the fuel, the capsule remains bright yellow. Here it is, it changes from yellow to blue if water is detected in fuel.